Okay, hello students. Welcome to today's class. Today we are going to be looking at English speech. English speech. And our topic for today is uh, diphthong sounds. We're going to be looking at three diphthong sounds. We're going to be looking at um, the L sound, the OW, and the W sound. Our specific objectives are that number one, you should be able to articulate the sounds correctly. You should be able to articulate the sounds correctly. Number two is that you should be able to describe the sounds. You should be able to describe the sound. Tell us what happens during articulation. Number three is that you should be able to identify words with the sounds via spelling symbols. And the fourth specific objective for today, which is the last, is that you should be able to give minimal pairs for the sounds, respectively. Now, let's go over to our first specific objective, which is the articulation of the sound. The articulation of the sound. Now, we are going to actually articulate the sounds one after the other. For every sound we articulate, we will describe the sound and give spelling symbols, um, give words for the sounds via spelling symbols. So the first sound we would be articulating today is the L sound. The L sound. Now, for you to be able to articulate the sound, please mm, look at my mouth while I articulate the sound and repeat after me. Okay, let's go. L. L. Again, L. Now, you discover that when articulating the sound, there is a movement. Your mouth moves from being neutrally relaxed to actually forming a rounded shape because that sound is actually a combination of two monophthong sounds. Remember, in English language, we have 20 vowel sounds, 12 are monophthongs, which are pure vowels, and 8 are diphthongs. Now, these um, diphthong sounds are actually a combination of two monophthong sounds. And as you can see, the sound we are articulating now, which is the OW sound, is actually a combination of the SHUA sound, which is a central vowel on rounded sound. And the U sound, which is actually a back rounded vowel sound. Okay, let's go again. Oh, oh, again. Oh, for the last time. Oh, now let's actually look at the uh, description of the sound. Just like I've said earlier, during the production or the articulation of these sounds, your mouth actually moves upwards and then backwards because you are actually moving from the articulation of a central vowel to the articulation of uh, a back vowel. That's why there is uh, a movement that takes place in your mouth so that your lips actually change from um, a neutrally relaxed position to a slightly rounded position oh 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 okay now let's actually look at um examples of words with the sound via spelling symbols now most words that actually um are spelled with an o are actually pronounced um, using that sound. For instance, we have the word go, go, G O, go, not go, it's go, go. We also have um, the word no, 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 it's not no, it's no. No. And then we have um, the word vote. Vote. Like to cast your vote during an election. It's not vote. It's vote. Vote. So that is actually one of the spelling symbols that have that sound in it. Now the next spelling symbol we would be looking at is actually um, the spelling symbol E-O. E-O. 
words that actually have that spelling symbols in them most times are actually pronounced um, with the O sound. So we have, for instance, fo, fo, f o e, fo, fo. We also have the word do, do, and the word goes, 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 not goes. Please take note of that. Okay, um, the third spelling symbol we would be looking at is the O W. The O W. Now we have um, the word row. 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 We also have the word slow. Slow. I also want to believe that you're pronouncing those words after me. You're repeating what I am pronouncing. Slow. Slow. We have um, the last example under the spelling symbol, which is so, so, so. Okay, let's look at um, other spelling symbols. We have O A, O A. Now, most words that are actually spelled with um, the spelling symbol O A are pronounced in that manner, pronounced with that um, sound. We have um, the word soap, soap, S O A P, soap, not soap, soap. We also have boat, 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 and we have oats, oats, oats. Okay, let's um, look at the last spelling symbol that we would be looking at under um, the O sound. O-U. O-U. Most words that have the spelling symbols are pronounced in that manner. Let's um, see some examples. We have the word so. So. S-O-U-L. So. We also have the word though. 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 And the last example is builder. Builder, builder. Now, um, as you can see, I've given you just three examples each for each spelling symbols. There are actually lots of examples, and I would love for you to make researches and try as much as you can to get more words that have the sound in them. Okay, let's move over to the next sound we would be looking at, which is the owl sound. That's pretty easy. Ow. Ow. Repeat after me. Ow. Ow. Now, you discover that during the um, production or the articulation of that sound, you actually go from articulating a front vowel sound, which is the A ah sound, to um, articulating the back vowel sound, which is the U sound. Ow. 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 So much so that your lips actually change from a neutrally open position to a slightly rounded position. Ow. Ow. When articulating the A, ah, you discover that your lip is open, your mouth is open. And then when you move over to the U sound, your lips form this round this shape. That's why we say that um, your lip goes from a neutrally open position to a slightly rounded position. Ow! Ow! Articulate it with me for the last time. Ow! Okay, now let's move over to um, words that have um, the ow sound in them, just spelling symbols. We have um, the first spelling symbol we would be looking at is the O U. The O U. Now, most words that actually have that spelling symbols in them are pronounced um, in that manner. We have the word pound. Pound. You know when you pound something, that's uh, what we mean. P O U N D. Pound. We also have the word shout. Shout. 
Shout. As you can see, the O U there is actually pronounced as ow. Shout. And we have the word loud. 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 I still want to believe that you guys are repeating the pronunciation after me. Let's move over to the next spelling symbol, which is the O W. The O W. Now we have the word crowd. 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 That was quite easy. Let's go over to the next word. Browse. 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 And the last word example under the spelling symbol is the word growl. 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 Okay, let's move over to the um, third spelling symbol, which is O U G H. O U G H. Most words that actually have the spelling symbols um, in them are actually pronounced in that manner or pronounced with the ow sound. Okay, we have the word plow. Plow. P L O U G H. Plow. We also have the word drought. 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 And we have the word bow. 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 Not B O W this time. B O U G H. Bow. Bow. Okay. Um, let's look at um, the third diphthong sound that we will be treating today, which is the ue sound. Ue. Ue. Now, you discover that the first sound we treated um, was actually interchanged in the sense that that initial sound, the shua sound came first. But in this case, the u sound comes first. It comes before the shua sound. So, this sound is actually articulated ue. 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 You discover that your mouth actually moves from being rounded to being relaxed. It moves from being rounded to being relaxed. So that you actually go from articulating the back rounded vowel sound to articulating the central unrounded vowel sound. Okay, let's articulate it one more time. Whoa. Whoa. Well, now let's actually um, describe the sound. The sound is actually, as you know, a combination of two monophthong sounds, the U and the er sound. The U and the er sound. And like I said earlier, your lips start from um, being round to becoming spread. So, you actually go from weakly rounding your lips to allowing your lips to spread. Ua. 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 It's pretty similar to the first sound we treated, just that you actually go from the last to the first. Okay, let's um, look at words with spelling um, with the sounds, your spelling symbols. Words with the sounds, we are spelling symbols. We have U A. U A. Now, most words that have that sound in them are actually pronounced in. Um, most words, rather, that have the spelling symbols in them are pronounced with a sound. We have the word individual. 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 Now, you discover that um, the U-A has that sound, where individual, not individual, individual, individual. Okay, the next word example we would be looking at is usual, 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 not usual, like we often say. It's usual, usual. 
And the last word example we would be looking at under the spelling symbol UA is actual. 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 Not actual. 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 Okay. Let's um, move over to the next spelling symbol, which is U-R-E. Most words that have the spelling symbols in them are pronounced um, with the word sound. We have the word pure. Pure. Not pure. 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 We also have the word secure. 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 Secure, not secure. Secure, secure. And we have the word lure. Lure, lure. So lure someone, not lure, like we normally say it. Okay, let's um, look at the next spelling symbol for that sound. We have the U-R. The U-R. Now, most words that are spelled um, using you are actually have the word sounds in them. We have the word jewelry, 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 not jewelry, jewelry. We also have the word furious, 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 not furious, but furious. As you can, if you can actually hear me properly, you discover that the U is not few, but fear, fear, furious. Okay, and the last word example we would be looking at under the spelling symbol U R is the word during. During, we often say during or during. No, it's during. During. Okay, let's um go over to the spelling symbol O U R. O U R. We have the word um door, 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 door. The O U R. Door, door. We have the word tour, tour, not tour. So, so, we also have the word contour, contour, not contour, contour, please take notes of that. And the last spelling symbol that we would be looking at um, for the O sound is the U-E, the U-E. And we actually have the spelling symbol in such words like crow. Crow, crow. We also have the word fuel, fuel, fuel. We have also the word influence, influence, influence. Why? Influence. So that is that for um, the articulation, description, and words with the sounds via different spelling. Symbols. Let's go over to minimal pairs. Now, there is one very good thing about minimal pairs. Minimal pairs actually helps us to pronounce this word correctly the way we should pronounce them. So much so that if you have an idea or if you actually know that two words could sound alike, but there is something different about them, possibly one sound, it actually guides you to pronouncing the words correctly and in the manner you should pronounce the words. So, let's look at a minimal pace for the L and the L sound. The L and the L sound. Okay, the first word we have here, we have the word load. 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 L-O-A-D. Load. Not load, load. We also have the word loud, loud, L O U D. Now you can actually see that the only difference is actually in um, the diphthong sound that happens to appear in the middle of both words. 
Load, loud, load, loud. Okay, the second example we have here is found, found, found. And we have for the L sound, found, 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 past tense of find. Okay, we also have the word no. No, no, K N O W, no, no. And for the R sound, we have noun, noun, noun. Let's go back to the next word tone, 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 sound, sound, sound. So, sound, so, sound. The next word is do, do, thou, thou, do, thou, do, thou. Okay, let's go back to the next word, which is um, co, 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 co. Co, cow, 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 and we have the word foe, 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 f o a l, foe, foe, and we have foul, 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 and the last word example we would be looking at. Under this minimal phrase is the word hound, 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 and the word hound, hound, hound. That was quite easy, I guess. It wasn't actually difficult, and I also believe that we actually were able to pronounce the words the way they should be pronounced. Now, let's go over to the last uh, minimal phrase. The minimal pairs would actually be for um, the U and the O sounds. The U and the O sounds. Okay, let's look at some of the examples we have here. We have um, the first example. Under the U sound, we have sure. Sure, not sure. You don't say I am sure. You say what? I am sure. Sure. And then for the R sound, we have sure, 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 S-H-O-R-E, sure. Okay, we have a um, tour, tour. We went on a tour, not we went on a tour. We went on a tour. And then we have tour, the past tense of tier. So, so, we also have the word cure, 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 not cure, cure. And we have the word also call, call, call. We also have the word um, poor, poor, a poor man, not a poor man. A poor man. Poor. Poor. And we have poor. Poor. And lastly, we have the word lure. 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 And the word law. 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 So, I actually want to believe that we are able to pronounce words the way they should be pronounced whenever we come across them and we won't actually mistake um, the pronunciations for other words. Do have a nice day and continue to stay safe. Now, don't forget that the note is actually going to be on the Google Classroom platform alongside the assignment. I appreciate you guys. You've really been good. You've been responding and I'm very, very happy. And also, I'm impressed. Keep doing what you're doing.
And remember, I love you.